Good evening. Please be seated. And welcome. I'm Philip Wilson, uh, Chancellor here at the University of Arkansas Rich Mountain, and it brings me great pleasure to uh, be here tonight with you all. Uh, graduates, congratulations again. So many familiar faces. Um, you're just, uh, it's a pleasure to know the talent that we're producing here. Uh, quickly, I want to introduce the folks to my left. Uh, the wonderful Charlotte Hall and our Allied Health Division Chair. They're all wonderful, by the way. <laughs> Charlotte keeps this boat afloat. Uh, Mona Wasser, Darlene Hesterly, Meg Wooten, Kathy Phillips, and Shannon Posey. They're all uh, registered nurses and there are, there are clinical coordinators and instructors. Let's give them a round of applause. I can assure you we couldn't function without the wonderful work that you all do. Um, I'd also like to recognize uh, Ms. Sue Kavner is in the crowd, as is Dr. Michael Wood, uh, our, one of our physical therapists. Uh, we, I actually have the, the best board I could have ever, ever hoped for, and I appreciate Sue and Michael being here. Tonight is a very special night. Uh, graduation is a culmination of a lot of work and effort. I think I told a lot of you all when you were LPN graduates that well I might have a doctor by the end of uh, at the end of my name or get, I guess at the beginning of my name uh, you wouldn't want me to operate on you first but I'm not that kind of doctor but I, I never had to work as hard as you all did and I say that with sincerity I see what you do I see your struggle I see your efforts and it is quite frankly humbling and amazing. So congratulations again. On behalf of the University of Arkansas System Board of Trustees, we congratulate you. Uh, Dr. Don Bobbitt sends his well wishes. Again, congratulations, and what a wonderful night to have you all here with us to celebrate your success. I was honored by these students to pray for them. So if y'all could all bow your heads. My Lord Jesus, much has happened this year, so I'd like to thank you for your presence in each of their lives. May you continue to be with Sasha as she has learned to embrace blessings instead of failures because all things are possible through you, as well as Kelsey, who will continue to work and grow with the gifts you've given her. I thank you for Adrian and Caitlin, whom you've given the ability, desire, and tenaciousness to achieve their dreams. May you be with Jared as he grows into an awesome man and a nurse that he will make a difference in his patient's life. Please be with Elaine as you have brought her through many trials to achieve the knowledge to make an impact on children and elderly. I am grateful to know her. Also, bless the lives of my and sing, as I truly don't know which one is which, but I love them both. Walk closely with Mandy and Sarah as they step out of their comfort zone and be a blessing for you. Lord, may we all learn from Whitney and Jim how to speak with a gentle spirit and listen more intensely to others. I ask that you continue to guide Michelle and Terry as they share their knowledge and experiences with others to help them grow as well. Watch over Brooklyn as she has much to look forward to this year. May, ex may she experience much joy. And Corey, while she continues to achieve the will you have for her life, may your hands be on Taylor's hands as she learns to start an IV on a newborn baby. May your knowledge surround Miranda as she sees her patients, touches her patients, and hears their voices. And Tanya, may you give her your comfort as she holds the hands of someone who truly gets to go home. I ask you, Lord, to open up the heavens for Heather, Amy, and Tori so their dad, grandmother, and mother will see this special moment in their lives that they have worked so hard for. In Jesus' name I ask these things, amen. Now that was a prayer. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. It's my honor to be able to introduce our guest speaker tonight. Each year, um, I ask the graduates to choose a guest speaker. I encourage them to have someone who has been an inspiration to them, 
who has, um, you know, maybe in the clinical area, um, been an inspiration, and this year they have done a wonderful job. We are honored tonight to have Dr. Rick Billingsley as our guest speaker. He is the Chief Nursing Officer at Mena Regional Health System. Um, although he won't tell you himself, I could stand here and read several pages to you of his credentials and accomplishments. He is very accomplished. He certainly deserves that recognition. But what the students see is not all those very prestigious letters um, that follow his name, but the nurse that he has become because of those experiences. He's so knowledgeable, competent, caring. He's the kind of nurse that people look at and say, I hope I can be that kind of nurse. I hope I can know as much as he knows one of these days. When you see Rick in the hallway, you can tell he's a man of importance just by the way he's dressed and the way he walks. But you better look quick. Uh, because he, he, he walks quick and, and he will have those sleeves pushed up helping take care of a patient uh, in the blink of an eye. He's always willing to help anytime he's needed and even comes in on the weekends just to make sure the students have a good clinical experience. Nursing education is one of his top priorities and University of Arkansas Rich Mountain is honored to be partners with him and the MENA Regional Health System team in educating our nurses. Please welcome Dr. Rick Billingsley. Thank you very much. Uh, first off, um, congratulations to the parents, the families, the children, the coworkers, and friends. I know this past year, and yes, it's only been a year, um, consisted of a lot of hard work, sacrifices, stress, missed family events, and anxiety. Um, I want to thank each one of you all for supporting your student, your family member in this um, milestone endeavor. Um, your support has made all the difference in their lives and to their successes in the f their futures. So I want to thank you. Um, now, I want to directly address the graduates. Um, thank you for the invitation to speak with you all tonight. It's uh, very much an honor. I've been very um, blessed to be able to spend time with you over the last year. Um, I really um, enjoy the time I spend with you. I learn just as much as you learn, I think, probably more but I really appreciate that time um, and it's been a great thing. I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts about your future as registered nurses. Um, the World Health Organization has designated 2020 as the year of the nurse, honoring the 20th year since the birth of Florence Nightingale, the founder of professional nursing. This is a great time to enter the uh, nursing workforce. There are a lot of changes going on and the elevation of the RN is just extraordinary. So you're entering the profession at a great time. Registered nurses continue to be the most respected and ethical profession for the past two decades. You are entering a profession that offers much, but with those great rewards, many demands are also required. So I'd like to offer just a couple of tips um, in your transition to your new role. Uh, in healthcare, you probably know that we always use the word always for everything. Um, in our surveys, when we're talking about being consistent and, and not being variable in our care, we use always as a reminder that we strive to be the best that we can be, both uh, personally and professionally. So here is my always list um, to, for a successful career in nursing. First, always remember your passion. Focus on providing empathy and compassion in your everyday lives to your patients, to their families, to your coworkers, and to your family and friends as well. Second, always remember that healthcare relies on teamwork. There, while there is an I in nursing, there is no I in team. And building good work, working relationships with your coworkers and teammates requires trust and forgiveness. Um, these are your peers. These are the people that are going to have your back when you need them. So you need to have their back when they need you. So develop that trust and respect for them and, and show that all, at all times. Third, always continue to learn, whether it be through developing new competencies, branching out into new specialty areas, um, or continuing your formal education. Always be open to increasing your knowledge. And fourth, always stay in touch with your sense of humor. 
We are honored to work in an environment where individuals and families place significant trust in us, but that trust comes with significant levels of pressure and stress. Using your sense of humor will allow you to focus on what is important and not to stress the small, insignificant things in life. So keep your sense of humor about you always. Again, I congratulate you and wish you the very best in all your future endeavors. Thank you. As has already been mentioned, we know that these graduates probably would not be where they are today if it weren't for a lot of you. And so at this time, they would like to make some presentations to you.
at this time, we'll begin our pinning ceremonies. And I normally would say, please stand, but you're already standing, so we're good to go. So guys, if y'all would come. <coughs> Tanya Campbell. She's being pinned by Kathy Phillips, RN. Elaine Crabtree. <laughs> She's being pinned by Summer Cummings, RN. Miranda Dees. She's being pinned by Leslie McCoy, RN. Michelle Gibson. She's being pinned by Debbie Gibson, RN. Kelsey Hamill. She's being pinned by Barbie Johnson, RN. Caitlin Hurst. She's being pinned by Sarah Lloyd, RN. Sarah Jenkins. She's being pinned by Brenda Chase, RN. Taylor Jones.
She's being pinned by Jennifer Mackler, RN. husband Thomas Lewis LPN. <gasps> by Phyllis Cunningham, RN. Her mother, Amanda Pinnell, RN. <laughs> That's a proud mama. Mandy Riles. being pinned by Crystal Cavelli, RN. <laughs> Jared Standridge.
she is being pinned by Tony Tackett, RN. Victoria Tackett. She's being pinned by Amber Williams, RN. Heather Thacker. She's being pinned by Karen Medford, RN. Sasha Wise. She's being pinned by Jennifer Mackler, RN. My Yang. She is being pinned by Penny Smith, RN.
present a Florence Nightingale Award. Um, most of you probably know who Florence Nightingale was, but she was a, um, one of the nurses who uh, really got nursing on track. Um, there were hospitals who had a lot of infections, um, you know, they didn't know anything about hand washing, and she really um, kind of turned the field of nursing and healthcare around so that um, it was a safe environment. So um, she was a very caring, um, compassionate nurse. And so um, we have the uh, students and instructors to vote each year on someone who they feel like um, embodies Florence Nightingale. Um, this year we have a little bit of an unusual circumstance in that we actually have two. Um, so um, just let me tell you that this award is given to the nurse who is passionate and dedicated to the profession of nursing and who exudes excellence in the delivery of direct patient care. It represents nurses who exemplify the spirit of caring embodied by Florence Nightingale. Those who nominated this graduate said, she's a very compassionate heart and cares about her patients. She is the type of nurse I would want as my nurse. Integrity and honesty are some of her greatest qualities. When I picture Florence Nightingale and what she might have been like, I picture someone like her. So it's my honor to present the first um, of the two, the 2019 Florence Nightingale Award to Taylor Jones. The next is um, the, the, those who nominated her said, this graduate during clinical rotations, I saw a beautiful heart, intelligence, and most importantly, consistent compassion. It's my honor to present, or present the next uh, 2019 Florence Nightingale Award to Tanya Campbell. I won't pray as long as I did before. <laughs> I want to thank all of y'all for coming, supporting these awesome nurses. Continue to pray for them in their lives ahead because walking as a nurse is not easy. So they need you to lift them up. So Lord, we just ask for your guidance, your presence in their lives, and uh, you're just the awesomeness to walk with them, talk with them, and just reassure them that in all things, it will work with you. Forgive us of our sins, be with these families and friends as they travel back home, and congratulations to these nurses, amen. We do have a reception to honor the graduates over here um, to your left, um, so please join them um, after the recessional. Um, I would ask that you please uh, be seated 
um, and remain seated until everyone is out um, so that they can have their moment in the spotlight and people can take pictures if they wish. Um, so at this time, graduates, if you would please stand. And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the University of Arkansas Rich Mountain 2019 Registered Nursing Class. Woo! 